Let's go. Question. Mark, um, it's been since 2007 this team has lost back-to-back -back games. What kind of a gut punch is it to you personally after everything's done here last night and you go home? Are you up? Are you already thinking about maybe what should have been, what could have been, that kind of thing? Uh, yeah, I think that's your, your kind of your existence constantly in, in the coaching world. There's uh, win or lose, you know, things that, that, that are seen or unseen that, that you're trying to, to solve. That's something that, that you know, <laughs> that's kind of the, the, the weird uh, addiction uh, lifestyle that this is. But, uh, yeah, there's certainly, in, after a, a, a finish like that, they're both, both – these last two weeks, there are so many opportunities in every phase, and and but the reality is we're we're two and two, and uh, you know the accountability of that starts 100% with me, and uh, also getting that solved uh, has already started, uh, and so we have to we have to be like we talk about all the time. We have to be in the solution business. It's easy to figure out, you know, point the finger at hey this what whoever this guy is an idiot or this guy's whatever anybody can do that. And we have to, it's, it's a delicate balance of being positive and being realistic just with, with where we are. But I mean, just again, so many, so many plays, uh, in each phase that, that contributed to, to the result. Brian? Mark, since you came back to Oregon, I mean, you guys have played national championships, won Pac-12 championships, historic Rose Bowl wins. Is it harder once you get to the top of the mountain to maintain that? And, and once you start to slide a little bit, how hard is it to get back to that level? It's a daily existence either way. You know, if, if it's, it's, it's a harder existence sometimes when you're undefeated and you're keeping guys, you know, that, that type of focus is, is, is different. I wasn't going to say harder or easier. Uh, you know, we were left for dead last year and bounce back. We were left for dead the year before, and that turned out okay. So there, it's just a, a time when each individual has to be accountable for their for their role and their fit in this deal. And and uh, I, I told the team last night, I believe it 100%, this team can be special. This team this year. Uh, you know, we have a, a tough schedule, tough, tough road ahead of us, but this team can be great. There's zero doubt in my mind. Go oh. You had talked last week about wanting to clean up penalties. Were you, were you happier in that department in this last game? A little bit. I mean, we still had, you know, the the personal foul on the punt cover, which is is it was less egregious, but still happened. Uh, and then, you know, we had three total penalties on special teams, which which all hurt us uh, in their own way. Um, that were all very very you know very preventable. But uh, that was better. Yes. Matt. I know you're really positive about all three running backs behind Royce, but are we starting to see maybe one guy and that being Tony kind of emerge with the offense being maybe more explosive with his ability to be in the, in the game yeah, more Tony, often? Tony had a great fall camp and, and to this point has, has probably performed, you know, quote unquote the best, but we need, we need all those guys. Uh, can I had a, a couple of phases where he wasn't available. Uh, he's going to be fine, but uh, had some uh, parts of the game where he wasn't available, where we were trying to spell one of the other guys. Um, but we believe in all those guys. Absolutely. Um, Mark, you talked about the last two seasons having early losses. Um, from your experience, do you find ever that some players maybe lose their hunger? It's harder for them to stay hungry later down in the season? Sure. Yeah, I think there's, there's, there's uh, you know, these are all human beings. And, and, you know, humans have human faults, and, and that's where you have to try to mix and match how you motivate guys and get guys to, to work every day. Um, but there's a lot of ball left ton to play for ton you know every every single snap of every single practice every single training session is a competition and that, that should be a personal thing period uh you know not not necessarily what's on the line or what you're playing for Brian? mark uh the uneven start last year obviously you can correlate the return of vernon to you guys getting on a, on a big roll what are some things that you think you need to do to, to you know turn the tie and, and you know be consistently winning saturday after saturday yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, it's a long. We don't have enough time to to, to make that list right now. Um, you know, just in in essence of we have to coach them to to play just 
relentlessly disciplined and, and in, a, in attack mode. And, you know, some examples of that from an offensive standpoint, are, are this, young, this young group of offensive linemen, they are going to be great. They're still kind of feeling their way through some things. And, you know, we had some times yesterday where just just footwork or whatever, you know, just hesitate, hesitate a little bit. And same thing defensively we had on the, the long, um, the really long quarterback draw. We had, we had the, I mean, we had, him, we had the quarterback bracketed and both linebackers went in the B gap and nobody's in the A gap. And of course he goes in the A gap underneath the tailback. And so, you know, those kind of things that they, they sting badly, um, you know, special teams, again, the, the personal foul, all, the, all those things. Um, and, and again, as long as we're accountable, we're moving forward, we can do anything. Troy Dye had another big day yesterday. How would you characterize his play? And is he the type of guy who can carry a defense? Um, I, th I think so. You know, obviously he was kind of in and out availability wise the last couple games. And so uh, just from a dur durability standpoint, um, got to keep him, keep him healthy, keep him rolling. Uh, but yeah, I think he, he's got the potential to be a great player, you know, true freshman that, that has performed the way he has thus far. Uh, we are, we're very excited about his future. A couple of your older players yesterday talked about how guys need to learn that just because you've beaten team X by, you know, X amount of times in a row, that's not just going to happen <laughs> today yeah. with so many young guys on this team. How, much of a constant battle is it to instill just coming every day to practice for being prepared every single game for your, for your team? That's again, a daily, daily existence. And that, that, that is absolutely, you know, one of the things I always kind of half joke about and say seriously is the, the O is also the number of points that they give you because of what people did in the past, you know, mm -hmm. and, and uh, that, that, it's just one of the many ways that we, we try to, to live in the now and talk about earning every, every penny because every you know every team is playing against that and we need to make sure that we're preparing against ourselves and sometimes we get a little a little lost in that you talked about uh, Troy Dye but another true freshman that made a play was Brendan Schooler uh, how much better is the defense when he's in there and healthy and where is his ceiling that's a great I don't know what his ceiling is he's another guy that that is has a ton of talent and loves to be physical loves to to hit he can run and hit and play the ball, so that's a great start. You know his size, his his just kind of awareness of of football is is excellent, uh, especially for a true freshman. And again, he's another guy that has a, a a very big ceiling. And you know, obviously, he's one of our one of our top DBs. And so when he's in there, he's not you know not one of our top DBs is in there. So whatever whatever difference that makes, percentage wise. Chantel Tyson, do you have a question? Yeah. Um... Mark, you had said that maybe sometimes an early season loss affects the hunger of certain players or some players. I was curious kind of about the inverse of that. Have you found that maybe sometimes early season losses sort of force guys to be more honest with themselves about their shortcomings or their position group shortcomings and kind of reevaluate? Yeah, I was I I was asked about the shortcomings and the hunger and all that stuff. That wasn't directly from my mouth, but yeah, um, absolutely. And that's again something we try to do after a win or after a loss is look exactly why why things happen, good good or bad. Uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes they just they just make a play. Sometimes they out scheme. You know, whatever the the deal might be, um, and and we own it. You know, we always we always just try to reinstill with with our guys is build on you know build on the great, learn from the the not so great, and and keep keep together. Keep the, obviously right now a lot of negativity, and that's you know what not what we can we can be consumed with. We can be consumed with solutions and how we how we can train better together and work work to to turn it. I got one too, um, Mark. Uh, th this isn't meant to come off as a criticism of Dakota, but by this point, had you guys hoped to have had Justin in there for more than you know a, a handoff or whatever it's been? And, and how do you guys kind of uh, go about handling that going forward when it looks like uh, you know there's uh, not as many blowouts as there had been in the past? Well, yeah, I mean, you can obviously you'd like to get your your backup guy in more certainly. Uh, I don't think that's bad on anybody. Um, but it, it hasn't happened. Um, and right now, Dakota, you know, Dakota's our, our, our best quarterback on our team and we, we believe in him. He, he'll, he'll, uh, 
uh, you know, I had a great talk with him today, and he'll he'll learn a lot from this film. Had, had a bunch of opportunities that, that of plays that he can make, and we trust him to make. We've seen him make, um, and and you know, learning from that as he goes in this process, uh, you know, I, I think is gonna gonna make everybody happy. Okay, Warren. Mark, last night, I guess some of the older guys stepped up in the locker room and gave a message to the team. Can you maybe share what that, what that message was? And are you pleased with the way that the veterans, the older guys, are, are making themselves known? And is, is their message, do you think, going to ring true? We'll, we'll find out tomorrow. But, yeah, I thought it was definitely a good message of, of cohesion, of, of, you know, moving forward, of, of again, kind of owning what, what happened, uh, some of the reasons why, uh, and, and, you know, sticking together, sticking together. That was a, that was a common thread. Uh, and, and, you know, all the, all the things you talk about a lot, lot to play for all those kind of things, but very, very positive. Uh, and also, um, the right edge of not, not, you know, not being happy or pleased in any way, shape or form. So, you know, good, a good balance of that. Like you said, there were a million different plays that could have gone differently and could have changed the outcome of the game. Is there anything that you personally wish you had done differently, preparation-wise, play calling, anything? <laughs> well, that's why that's why you don't sleep after ones like that. But uh, you know, uh, you know, certainly from an off offensive standpoint, we we were in position to do everything we wanted, and that that. Again, any, anything that's bad is my responsibility. And anything else that, that you know, happens, good, bad, and different, whatever it is, we, we solve it together. It's not, you know, if, if a quarterback throws a great pass and the guy drops it, that, you know, that's my fault. But now if, as long as the receiver coach and, and the, the receiver are committed to making it better and we're committed to solve it together, that's, you know, that's, that's how it rolls. We're, we're never, ever going to blame the players for anything. Uh, and that's that's – how we do it? We keep all that all that stuff internal. Any other questions? Anything else on the phone, guys? I'm good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks.